All right, so when you open up Slap, uh, this is the first screen that you will see. Uh, this is the home page um, right here for the bot. Um, this is where everything lives. Uh, so the bot has several different tabs that we're gonna go over. Um, and I'll do a quick overview and then we'll go into each tab a little bit more in depth. Uh, so you see right now the task or the uh, tab that we are on is the task tab. Uh, so if we wanted to create a task, we just click right there to create a task. Um, next is the billing tab um, where we can input our billing information. Uh, next we have our proxies tab. Um, I have removed all of my proxies um, for obvious reasons, um, but this is where all the proxies will live um, inside of the bot. And then down here we have the captcha tab which will bring up your solver. Um, so let's go back to the first tab. Um, task. Oh, before we do that, I also want to cover um, the side panel over here, um, upcoming releases. Um, so you can see these are the items that we'll be releasing this Thursday on the 24th. Uh, if you want to go back and see previous releases, you can do that. Um, so that is that, and it tells you when it has been last updated. So, so now that we've covered all of these different um, areas, let's go through and get ready to create our first task. Um, now, before we create a task, we are going to need billing information. Um, so entering it in is very easy. If you have AYCD, you can um, implement your file from AYCD. You can import it right up here using these buttons. Uh, but if you don't have it, you can just type it in manually. So let's just do that um, right now. So we will just call this one test account. Uh, we will say test email at email com put in a random phone number there and our address all this is pretty self-explanatory then you will go down here and put in your card information. And we will save this as and we will save this as our test account. So save it right there. Perfect. There it is, next to some of my other accounts. Um, okay, now that we've done that, we're not quite ready to create the task uh, just yet. We need to upload some proxy list at the moment. Um, so I am not going to upload any real proxy list. So we're going to generate some proxies. Um, in this example, we will use Surge Proxies, um, one of the sponsors of this channel. Um, so we've got our proxies, and if you guys need any proxies, I highly suggest that you check out Surge Proxies and use code SOULSTATE uh, for a discount on those proxies. So now that we've got our proxies, we'll come in here and we'll enter them into the add proxies field and then we would just click add proxies there we go we got our proxies right here on the screen so now we are ready to make our first task so let's go over here to task and we'll hit this plus button and say we want to run for the step stool so we will click the step stool now one cool thing about slap is you see visually what you're running for um, and task creation in this bot is a breeze, one of the easiest that I've ever been a part of. Um, so you see down here, they have request mode and hybrid mode. Now, I would suggest running pretty much on request mode all times unless directed uh, by the developers. Um, so for this example, we don't need a size, but if this was a shirt or shoe or anything like that, you can just hit the size button and scroll through and get all the sizes. Um, for color, we can choose a specific color or we can just type any. Um, in this case, let's say that we want to run for the black one. Um, this right here, the quantity, really don't use this unless directed uh, by the devs. Quantity is not the number of tasks. This is how many items you want to try to cart. Um, so a lot of these items aren't multi-cart items. Uh, so just leave that at one and you really don't even have to touch it. Um, for profile, we're going to 
create or select our test profile. If you want to run a task for every profile, you can do that. But for our purposes, we're just going to run test. Um, when it comes to delays, I'll talk about this um, a little bit more later. Um, but you can run very, very low delays on Supreme. Um, so, for example, let's just say we want to use 500. Uh, so we'll just type in 500 right there. And it does give you an option to um, import a Discord webhook if you have one. Um, I do, um, but I'm not going to use it for this example. So all you would have to do is create your webhook and then simply paste it in here um, and you will get the notification to your webhook if you check out. So now we're ready, we've got our task created, so we'll just hit create task. And there it is right there. We can see it's ready. Um, if we hover over the size um, right here, it will let us know um, that this is our test profile and we are running the delay of 500. Um, so that's it for creating a task. When you're ready to start your task, you will just hit this button right here and it'll go, it'll search for the item and right now, it says waiting for drop and error searching because obviously the drop has not happened yet. Um, but that is how you create a task in Slap. So very, very simple and easy bot to use. Um, now I'm going to go over uh, some of my recommendations and thing that, things that you need to um, keep in mind when you're botting Supreme. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is right down here, the CAPTCHA solver. Um, now, as you can see, you can use um, AYCD if you have it. Um, you can integrate that with Slap, no problem. It's very easy. Um, but if you don't and you're going to use the InBot Harvester, one thing that you need to make sure of is that you have good Gmails. Uh, good Gmails are probably the most important thing when it comes to botting Supreme. Um, on Supreme, you actually can get one clicks, and they're known as invisible captchas. Um, so essentially, whenever you will be running, um, you don't even have to solve the CAPTCHA. It'll basically solve itself, um, and that's why they call it Invisible CAPTCHA. Um, so a couple tips. You need to make sure that you have good Gmail accounts when you get ready to run um, for Supreme, and you need to make sure that you are always farming your Gmails. If you don't have a farming software, um, I would highly suggest checking out AYCD, um, and you can use their one-click feature. That's what I use. Um, you can also use a few other programs, um, like Essentials, or I believe it's Kylan, you can use their one click uh, as well. They all do the same thing, um, but make sure that you have a way to farm your Gmails and get them ready for the drop. The next thing that I want to talk about is proxies. Um, now proxies, um, if you don't know what proxies are, it's just essentially um, you have a proxy, it throws your IP address somewhere else, so you don't get um, a lot of tasks coming from one IP address at the same time. Otherwise, you may get banned, um, soft banned. You will not be able to cop during the release. So the proxies that are recommended for Supreme would either be ISP or data center proxies. Um, those are the best proxies. Speed does matter when it comes to Supreme. So you want to use those proxies um, to bot Supreme effectively. Um, you can also use local host um, when running on Supreme, but I would limit the amount of tasks that you run as well. We'll get into that later. One thing that I didn't mention is whenever I created this task, it will pull a proxy from the proxy pool automatically. So you don't have to do anything. Uh, there is no uh, proxy specified task. Um, so as long as you have proxies in your pool, you're good to go. Um, so now that we have talked about CAPTCHAs and we've talked about proxies, let's talk about the task themselves. Now, I highly, highly recommend if you can running Slap on a server with good Gmails. Um, if you do that, you can probably run between 20 and 30 tasks um, very easily. Now, keep in mind that 20 to 30 number is only if you're on a server with good Gmails that have those invisible one clicks. Um, now, you do not want to run any type of task on a local host if you're on a server because um, it will get banned very quickly. Um, so if you can, run on a server with good Gmails um, and that will be the quickest speed possible for you to check out. Um, now, if you are running on a local host, I would probably limit those tasks to six to eight, with eight being the most that you should run 
on a local host um, without getting banned. Um, and especially if you don't have good Gmails, you don't really want to run very many tasks. Otherwise, you'll just be stuck solving CAPTCHAs. Um, and that's no good, and you're not going to be able to cop anything on release day. Um, so we've covered everything in the bot. The last thing that I want to cover um, is how to set up for restocks. And it is probably the simplest thing um, that you could ever do. So we're going to go over here and we're going to, it looks like they just added uh, some more items here. So let's select this crochet crusher. Um, say the drop's already started. We want to run for restocks, um, no size, and we'll select any color, test profile. And when it comes down here to delay, this is how you run for restocks. So you just put zero. That's it. Zero delay on all restocks. Um, that is what the devs recommend. So that's what you guys should run. Um, now I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial over Slap. Um, Slap is coming up on the end of its beta. Um, so if you haven't got a chance to try it yet, I am sorry. Um, you can try it this week if you watch this video. They have opened it up um, to anyone to try for this last week. So I highly suggest you guys try Slap uh, before it goes private. So details on Slap's public, public release and pricing have not yet been released yet. Um, stay tuned to their Twitter account um, and my Twitter account, Soul State Sneakers, um, for updates on that. And if you guys do want a chance of securing this bot, um, you can join my free sneaker Discord, um, where we will be getting a group buy for some slap keys um, once they do go public. So I highly suggest you guys checking that out um, so you can cook up with slap, which I fully believe will be at the top of the leaderboard on Supreme Bots by the end of this season. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please um, like this video as well. Liking the videos really helps um, in YouTube's algorithm of getting the video seen by more people. Um, so I highly suggest that you guys do that. Um, and I appreciate all the support that you guys have given me um, and especially the Slap devs. Um, so go download Slap, um, run it for this week and use this guide to set up and um, get ready to cook up this release. Hopefully you have um, available credit on your cards uh, because you will be checking out left and right with this bot. Um, so I wish you guys the best of luck and we will see you on the next one.